He's got three shows on, TL on TLC, but he is here at Peoria today, and he's going to be at the Civic Center tonight. The Cake Boss, Mr. Buddy Velastro. Thanks for hey, joining how us. How are you? How are you? A pleasure to see you, too. How's everything going? It's going good. We are so glad to have you here. Well, I am so excited to be here, and um, <laughs> just can't wait to do my show and meet some fans today. Well, that is awesome, because uh, you've got your shows. You're obviously, mm -hmm. you start off just as a baker, but now you've got your reality yeah. shows. You're an author, and now you're going on tour. Just crazy. I mean, it it's is. been a whirlwind, and it's been a dream come true of uh, so many great things. And, um, you know, my favorite part is knowing that it brings families together, and families kind of enjoy the show together. It really um, touches my heart. It's so special to me. It is. It's rare for a reality show that you can have watch with the kids and the parents and everybody. Or one that talks good about New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. And you do, you do, uh, you give great kudos to uh, Hoboken and New Jersey. What's it like uh, now that you're your shop? You've got lines out the door over there in the, at your well, bakery. Well People plan their vacations around you now. Well, that's the special thing is, you know, you look up that line and it's all families. Mm -hmm. And they come from all different parts of the country, all different parts of the world. Um, and the one thing that's universal is family. And they come, they stand on that line and just spend some good quality time together. And that's awesome to me. Well, you started out, your dad was the baker, and uh, you yep. started out very young right there. I was 11 years old, started <laughs> out just working in a kitchen and you know that's part of my whole story which you know actually is in my book mm -hmm. I just uh, my first book was out last year and it's more my story on how I became the mm -hmm. cake boss and it's pretty inspirational because I wanted people to understand um, you know that they can accomplish their dreams mm -hmm. you just have to work hard at it and it's just one of those things that hard work per, um, perseverance and determination you know, you could achieve anything. It pays off, yeah. What's uh, in your second book? Then? My second book is down and dirty, just <laughs> baking, decorating, um, all my great recipes. Um, really proud of the second book. It's uh, it just made it to the New York Times mm -hmm. bestseller list number five, and um, you know, it's just got so many great recipes. And the idea is kind of to understanding that you know, if you before you learn to run, you have to learn to walk. Mm -hmm. And it's about showing you the grunt work. Okay. You know, so like if you pipe out cookies, it's the same as piping out um, designs on a wedding cake. Okay. Or if you roll out pie dough, mm -hmm. it's like rolling out fondant. Okay. So, so you know, it's start. about understanding you, the grunt work turns you into a master. And uh, it just really has been a big success. Lots of great pictures in there. Yes. Um, so I hope people enjoy the book. I think half the battle is seeing how to do it, mm -hmm. having the right tools, and the rest is just practice. Just practice. And I mean, yeah, I'm a little it. obsessive compulsive about <laughs> things, but um, that, that's how you get good. Well, your show, like you said, family is a huge part. You work in the bakery with your whole family. Yeah, God you got me. four sisters. <laughs> a amen. And uh, they, yeah, all their spouses, everybody's in there with you. You've got your kids even in there baking with you now. Yeah, I love when my kids come to bake too. I miss them. Uh, I haven't seen them in a couple of days, yeah. so you know. Uh, I go home on Monday, so I'm excited to go home to the whole familia. Very good. Even my crazy sisters. Even your crazy sisters. <laughs> but we have a great show tonight at Civic Center, which is um, actually my interactive show. And a okay. lot of people are like, well, what is the cake boss going to do on stage? Yeah. Funny thing is, is you after sing and dance? Well, I can sing and dance <laughs> a little bit, you know. Okay. But a lot of after the show, people are like it's so uh, so much more than I expected. Okay. So basically, I call people up from the audience. And I make them compete against each other in cake decorating. Oh, very cool. And okay. That's, that's where the humor comes in. Okay. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Once you give a dad a pipe and bag, it's on. It's, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, you get then a I messy. then I tell my story of kind of like how I, um, you know, how I became the cake boss. Okay. Which is like really an inspirational yeah. story. It's great, you know, for the kids to understand and uh, see because you know they are the future, and I want them to know that they have to follow their dreams and they can do anything that they put their minds to, okay. you know. Um, then I have a Q&A from the audience. Okay, that's always fun. And then the finale is the most hilarious thing. has to do with the most romantic men in Peoria, Illinois. The most romantic men in Peoria, Illinois? Saying. All right, now that is a tease. That is going to get people that's out there. That's, that is good. That is good. i got to ask you, what's what's been your favorite cake that you made? I know you make a ton. You have a lot of good ones. My favorite was the Transformer cake. The Transformer, Transformer that cake was, was huge. wild. I mean, you know, um, and I, I listen, I'm lucky enough. I'm blessed that I have my dream job, you know, and I had yeah. it since I was a kid. So, you know, that's another thing that people got to understand is you know, you, you, it's really important that children know they have to find what they want to do because they'll excel at it. Have a passion for it. Yeah, uh, that's it. 